welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. Let's talk to some sanity. Yay. I'm here. What do you want? Hmm. Don't look so sour. Don't make me. <laughs> I always look like this apostle sanity. Oh, yes. That's true. Well, I didn't summon you to talk about your grumpy expressions. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give you something before we set off for battle. Nice. What is it? You, do you know what this is? Probably like a master crown or something. Something that we just used. Yeah. <laughs> Not a clue. When I fled the cathedral, I took some valuables with me. This is called a master crown. Wow, I forgot it. No, <laughs> I should have said not a clue sarcastically. Not a clue. Uh. <laughs> it said to release a Bjork's hidden power. Uh huh, I just used one. Not on me, but whatever. I've never heard of it. Not everyone can use it, so think before you pass it on to someone. Eats it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Yay. Cigarette. Do you also have for me? General Lake, thank you for helping the Apostle. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. The Lord would have refused if I'd known that I'd be commanding the entire fucking <laughs> army. Jesus Christ, Ike. <laughs> Ike is not. <laughs> Ike is not jazzed. Ike does not want it. I like how they always rope him into it, too. Yeah, I know. They're not stupid about it. They know what he doesn't want. That's why we didn't tell you beforehand. They know what he's good at, and they know fucking. Huh. That's a pretty devious move, Sigrun. Here are some funds so you can properly prepare for the upcoming battle. Shows how you've grown since the days of the Mad King's War, General. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've already fucking checked. Oh, thanks. Nice. nice. Now you can really restock everybody. I was like, everybody. I only had four grand. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Bruh. Hey, yeah. Huh? You called it. <laughs> yeah. She walked the other way. <laughs> I'm leaving. Hiya. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I'm the one with green hair. I should be making Link noises. What? Link doesn't have green. Oh, well, I, unless she, yeah. he is green though. Yeah, like that's the only way I can see that. <laughs> you really push yourself in training, don't you, Karen? Huh? Ah, Oscar, you snuck up on me. Only a true rival of mine could accomplish such a feat. I've been watching for half an hour. What? Then why did you say hello? And I would have expected better manners. You did. I did. You didn't notice. Ah, yes. My concentration while training is unbreakable. No one can distract me. Hmm. I wonder if he realizes that he contradicts everything he says. What was that? If you have something to say, let it out. Speak like a man. Stand tall. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Here, I got this for you. What is this? It's an imbue scroll. Imbue is a skill you should learn, especially since you always train until you're soaked in your own blood. I've never heard of such a skill. Is it special? Oh, yes. It's very special. Why would you give such a precious thing to me? Because I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I just told you. <laughs> I cannot accept it. I accept no charity from rivals. Why do you have to be like this? We are equals. I need no favors from you. Run along now. <sighs> I don't have the time to talk to you. I'm too busy training. Go on. Leave. <sighs> It was meant as a symbol of friendship for my lifelong rival. What? But I guess if you won't accept it, I'll find someone else who will. Maybe Titania. Wait, I'll take it! You'd swallow your own words? Uh, never! However, I know that your life I know that your lifelong rival is me, and no one else. If your gift will mark me as your lifelong rival, I must have it. That's what I like you about you, <laughs> sir simpleton. You insult me? Always. <laughs> no, that was a compliment. You're a very simple knight, living only for battle and whatnot. Great, thanks. Life is boring without you, Kieran. <laughs> yep. He's like gonna go like over to Boyd and be like, Boyd, guess what I got away with? <laughs> Boyd's like, nice. Like they both like Boyd is like over around the corner, like they both like fucking like, like thumb up. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like talking about it. Awesome. Well, I don't really need anything still. So I kind of just, you know, took everything from everyone. <laughs> and I was like, not using you, not using you, not using you, and not oh using mine. you. Which well, is like when I play Awakening, if I'm low on weapons, I just unequip everyone that I'm not <laughs> using. Like, Awakening, after every battle, I unequip everything. I've always had enough money in Awakening that I've always just been able to buy stuff for the Prime team. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I also train lower level units. Yeah. Unlike you, so. Because I don't care. I'm not using them. <laughs> <laughs> I care because I still need to beat Priam. Yeah. You can just hang that out in the corner and have everybody <laughs> else beat them. It's time to get moving. Do we have a target? First, we'll head for Flagir, the fortress the fortress town between Crimea and Benyon. Since the Lagoon's alliance has fought in Flagir already, we're familiar with the lay of the land. Sounds like a good plan. Do you still resent your choice to command this army? No offense, Apostle, but you didn't give me much of a choice in the first place, so yes. <laughs> Besides, if I'm not fully committed, how can I expect these troops to be? Just remember, when this is all over, you'll be getting one heck of a bill. Soren will be happy. Soren's like, I'm literally recording the time. <laughs> and but giving you an hourly and wage. Expenses yeah. And expenses. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Oh, I'm sure. And I know you'll be worth it. Speaking of which, I have something for you. Consider a down payment. I'm sure you remember this blade. It is the Holy Sword Ragnar. Please take it. Are you sure about this? I returned it at the Mad King's War because he said it was one of Banyan's national treasures. Indeed, the sword was used by Empress Altina, the first apostle of Banyan, back in the early days of the Empire. I mean, Nicholas Cage tried to fucking stole it. <laughs> it was one of the two swords the Empress used to fight the Dark God. I think it... I can think of no better person to give it to. Alright, I'd be happy to use it again. Thanks. Doesn't have any uses, it's powerful. Yeah, I can take all of his swords away. Yeah. <laughs> really clean him up. Give it to somebody else. Yeah. Excuse me, I bring urgent news to Queen Alencia and General Ike of the Apostles' Army. What happened? I pooped. <laughs> we were saying, yeah. He's like, good for you. He's like, it, it was literally life and death <laughs> for me. We've received a report that Dayan Army has appeared near the border between Dayan and Crimea. The Dayan Army demands custody of the Apostle on behalf of Benyon. They will use force if necessary. Dayan wants to get in our hair again? Perfect. Soren's like, yes! <laughs> Let's murder. Stab them up! <laughs> I am puzzled by this. Why does Dan support the Senate? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Ike, we must change our target. You're great. We have to get Dan out of our way before we do anything else. And murder! Oh, God, oh, this, God bridge. this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> we both like we like didn't like echo for I'm like oh god oh god this bridge I'm just gonna reuse the title and description of this battle in the first game for this be like yeah it's the same fucking thing the fucking the most needed repair yeah most patched up yeah bridge in the world like come on Alencia get on it snap yeah. two well it's partially Dan's also so yeah. Come on, Peleus, snap to it. You're yep. fucking limp wristed. <laughs> yeah, he's limp wristed. That's why he won't do anything. They're like, people are like, oh, we don't want to work today. He's like, okay. <laughs> so, Dane still refuses to negotiate. Either they believe the Senate's lies, or the Senate is pulling some strings behind the scenes. Well, whatever the reason, we can't attack Ben now without taking care of this first. I will not give up. I won't stop sending messengers until they respond. Ike, I leave you in charge here. No oh, great. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bye. Let's keep our numbers small. We shouldn't provoke them any further. I understand. Gallia will stay behind. You'll have your turn soon, Skrimir. I promise. All right, let's go. Skrimir's fucking. Chill. Randolph is fucking tagging along though. He's like, "Fuck you, Skrimir." Well, Tanith and Sigrun are here too. Yeah, nice, awesome, nice. Well, anyway, we'll catch you guys after the break. See you soon. Boy. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. I had a little thing back at camp that I had to deal with. Her name was Alencia. <laughs> yeah. No problem, Tipper. What kind of thing? Oh, hey, where's Ryson? He was exhausted, but he insisted on coming with me. I had to tie him <laughs> down to a bed to keep him there. <laughs> Jesus. Really? Nah, I'm just kidding. He passed out earlier, so I have a different anchor slowing me down this time. Raphael. Oh, Flan. Hey, cool. <laughs> Flan? I, um, I will fight. Yes? No! She's Ryzen's sister, for sure. The girl is as stubborn as he is. Listen up, young lady. You herons are supposed to be more like Raphael. Quiet and graceful and all that. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind, Tiburn. Flan. 
<laughs> that, <yeah. laughs> that was very disjointed. <laughs> Don't mind Timberland. <laughs> We're on it out here. Cool. Yay. And they're just allies. I can. Awesome. La la. At them. And leave. <laughs> The Dayan army is much stronger than it was three years ago. Yes, by far. Even after the situation turned against them, every soldier fought with valor. Quite impressive. He kept muttering about the power of the general, this Maiden of Dawn. The soldiers seemed obsessed with her. This may sound strange, but think of it like this. They believe in her as much as you Holonates believe in the Habasal. Hmm, I understand. They are formidable and deluded, then. I shall use caution. Are you saying you're deluded? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Hi. Micaiah, it's over. The front line is broken. The Apostle's army is crossing the bridge. All right, then. Order a retreat. But what No. Are you a simpleton? Just destroy the bridge. They're over the bridge. <laughs> Inspector, with all due respect, Dane soldiers will also die if we destroy the bridge now. Those are called acceptable losses, my dear. And any losses suffered by your men are acceptable if it means stopping that army. As a representative of the Senate, I will not allow you to retreat. Fight to the last man. Inspector, while I respect your opinion, the final decision is up to me as commander-in-chief of this army. South, order the retreat. Get those men out of here there before they're routed. Insolent little brat. How dare you disobey my orders. We could always leave you here while the rest of us retreat, Inspector. How's that sound? You, you, I will report this back or this incident to both of your, both your king and the Senate. Start thinking of an excuse now, whelps. You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, pompous <laughs> fool. <laughs> well, I'll go order the retreat. Bye, Micaiah. Micaiah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. Fucking passing out all over. Don't move. I'll be right back. What's happening? I was doing so well for a while. I feel like fog is clouding my mind. Am I losing my powers? Funny. I had always wished that I didn't have this far sight. It often feels like such a burden. But now this clouded vision seems so strange. Now I miss the clarity. Ironic, isn't it, Yune? I'm a bird. Yeah. <laughs> tweet tweet. I yeah. I chirp. That's it. Hmm? What's wrong, Raphael? I sensed something. Strange. It just came out of the blue. It was some sort of voice. My brother, did you just call for me? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not, fortunately. You heard it too, Ryson? What's going on here? What was that voice? I don't know, but it's calling for us. The voice was coming from the northeast, from the direction of Dan. I have a bad feeling about this. Let us head for Dan. Please prepare to leave immediately. I will speak with King Gahingas and get permission to leave. I hope nothing has happened to your sister. As do I. All I know is that I must go there. That much is certain. And sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just take lessons from her, just sleeping on the way there. Yeah. How do you sleep and fly at the same time? Oh, fuck. How don't you sleep and fly at the same time? <laughs> That's the real question. Yeah. Apostle Sanahit's army, with Ike at its head, wins a great victory over Dan at Oribes Bridge. However, Apostle Sanahit elects not to pursue the retreating Dayan forces. Instead, she petitions King Peleus for permission to pass through Dayan. After waiting for several days, she receives no reply, and Sanaki reluctantly orders a march. Avoiding the heart of Dayan, the army skirts along the mountains and makes its way south. That was the quickest summary. Yeah, I know. I've never, they've never wow. been so fast. <laughs> the narrator's like, Jesus, fucking get this war over with, guys. Yeah, come on, let's move it along. Aw, oh, Dan. Micaiah, what's going on? I heard that uh, you took ill on the field. Are you alright? What happened? What do you think, genius? Micaiah fainted because you've been pushing her too hard. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's terrified that she won't live up to your expectations. I didn't realize. 
I'm so sorry, Micaiah. According to the doctor, she is suffering from severe exhaustion. She must stay in bed for a time. Well, I'm glad she, that she's alright. Do you think it will take long for her to recover? We must stop the lagoos, after all. Her task is not complete. That's what Torino's for, isn't he? He's fucking general. <laughs> he can lead the goddamn army. Yeah, I think Torino's like, meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> okay, that's it. Are you out of your mind? Thank you, so. I'm getting Makai out of here. At this rate, if the, like, uh, if the lagoos that we shouldn't be fighting don't kill her, you certainly will. What? But, but you can't leave. Watch me. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you stop me. <laughs> I held out until now, thinking it was best for Dan. I was wrong. We're through with you. Please, Soth, you must reconsider. Makai can't leave now. King Peleus, I agree with Soth. Let Lady Makai go. She has done enough. No, don't leave. Please. I'm begging you. I need Makai to stay. F Peleus, what are you doing? Tantrum! No. <laughs> Our army cannot function without Micaiah. I can't let this happen. The army must continue the fight. Listen, I don't know what deals you've made with the Empire behind our backs, but I won't let you hurt her anymore. If Micaiah leaves the army, she will die. So, now the king throws, shows his true colors. Peleus, I don't care if you're the king. Threaten Micaiah again, and I'll kill you where you stand. Is that clear? My brain was like, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> like short circuited <laughs> she won't be the only one to die you, me, every single person in Dayan will all die and it's all my fault Peleus you didn't you signed a blood pact didn't you no, no you signed a blood pact with the senate after you were crowned Yes. that's why you've been so scared so terrified of late oh my son what is a blood pact. Micaiah, you should try too. I can sit up, you fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, is everyone going through goddamn puberty and menstruation at the same time? Fuck. Yes. <laughs> she kicks over a fucking like, face <laughs> on the way up. You want to talk midriff? <laughs> Please. It's a style. <laughs> Please tell me, your majesty. What is a blood pact? Well, you, you, you sign blood. I, I, I swear to you, I didn't know. I had no idea. What could be so urgent that the Empire's messenger would pay a visit at this hour? Has something happened? King Peleus, please prepare to receive Vice Minister Lycane. What? Cool. How do you do, King Peleus? H how did you get here? Magic, obviously. Yeah, fucking... D did you see the warp circle? The yeah. Idiot? Our empire's magical research has made leaps and bounds. This rewarp staff is our latest invention. With this staff, one can get to any desired destination destination instantly. Isn't that just wonderful? No. Before this lovely little item, we used that ghastly warp powder. It worked well enough, but it would completely exhaust whoever used it. Except for the Black Knight. Yeah. <laughs> Black Knight's OP though. <laughs> yeah, true. What's the use of someone traveling anywhere they wish to, or they wish if they're too exhausted to do anything afterward? Well, that's why you plan. Yeah. It'd take a very strong soldier to withstand the power powder side effects. The Wee Warp Staff solves that problem. Vice Minister. Ah, now I've said too much. I just can't help myself. I love innovation so much, or so. Um, if I may, what is the purpose of your visit? Did you get the fuck out? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I want to sleep. It seems dark. Yeah, it's gonna... Oh, yes. No time for idle chatter. We have a favor to ask of you, your majesty. No. As you are no doubt aware, the false apostle has raised an army of subhumans to reclaim her throne. We require the use of day and army to... When did this happen? Um... Because she wasn't... She was, like, under house arrest and shit like that. I want to say it is after they started marching... Um, with Santa King and like his alliance, like maybe like with Micaiah but, it was like more of like a request, like hey, can you kind of wipe them out? And now they're just kind of like fucking kill them. Well, now, well, but at, before he was like, yeah, I'd kill the subhumans. She's like, why? And he's like, just do it. So I yeah, think I they kind know. of, I think I, I always assumed that this was before that, but it, like, right. well, I don't know. 
Yeah. Would you be so kind? <laughs> no. I, I'm i afraid I cannot deploy my army on Benyon's behalf. My country cannot continue to rebuild while fighting a war. Please understand. Ah, so you reject our request. Then I have no choice but to watch you and your people perish slowly. What? You came here to make threats? What's the dinner of the night? What did you expect? Yeah, I'm fucking... I got my milk and cookies in hand, dude. Yeah. Like, let me sleep. The terms of our pack are quite clear in this document. Cool. That's the treaty I signed on the day of my coronation. I don't see how this pertains to... Did you not read the fine print? Yes, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Take a lesson from King Pelius, children. Yeah. Read the fine print. <laughs> Always read the fine print. All will be made clear, young Pelius. Yes, this is the same document. You, my naive young king, signed it believing it was an oath of reparation from Benyon. Sadly for you, however. What are you telling me? In truth, this wonderful scrap of parchment is a blood pack. Once you sign the paper in blood, you can never you can never take it back. <laughs> well, thank God I signed it in ink. Yeah. Well, I, he did probably. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> a blood pack. But Izuka said he saw no problems with the terms of the treaty. No. Izuka? Fucking how did I not figure that one out? I know, right? <laughs> no, how after, could he? After the problem with Murum, you didn't think he was a bit crooked? Yeah. That's right. Izuka is one of us. He found the perfect king who would ex execute the Senate's will. I can't believe it. I won't. And if I close my eyes yeah. and ears. What are you, 13? What, who? What's that? No. You better start believing it. You've... That's like a hawk can or something. Maybe it's like Tidborn on Nassau. Yeah, quite Could possible. Could that be Nassau? Yeah, Nassau did was like, I got the country through nefarious ways, pretty much. Yeah, but the wings are... They should... They look like they should be brown instead of black. We'll find out, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't... I think they... I think it's one of them, but whatever. You better start believing it. You've at least heard stories of the Forbidden Blood Pack, haven't you? It's a marvelous tool used by the wise to control the foolish. A ruler agreeing to the pack is bound to it. Absolutely. Once sworn, the pack will punish any transgression against its <laughs> terms with the complete destruction of this country. You... You can't be serious. That's impossible. <laughs> Nothing's impossible, fucker. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Claim yourself. Calm, claim. claim yourself. <laughs> claim yourself. <laughs> Calm yourself, young king, and listen. I tell you an interesting story. Long ago, a foolhardy king signed a blood pact with the Empire to take back his lost kingdom. In exchange for his country, he vowed complete obedience. He soon broke the terms of the pact and began to disobey the Empire. Presumably, he didn't understand the power of the oath he'd sworn. Would you like to what hap to hear what happened after he defied the Empire's or defied the Empire's will? I guess. Sure. Fucking what? <laughs> what fucking yeah. new image am I seeing in my brain? My brain picture viewer. It was quite tragic. One man died on the first day. He was only a peasant, so no one really noticed. Two more died on the second day. Three more on the third day. I think you can see where this is going. The wave of mysterious death spread across the kingdom like a contagion. After 30 days, the king finally realized that this was the curse of the blood pack, the price of infidelity. He apologized to the empire and pleaded with them to lift the curse. His plea was graciously accepted on the 100th day. Naturally, they would wait. Yeah, because they're asses. By then, the king had lost half of his subordinates, as well as his lovely wife and child. The country remained under the control of the Senate for a very long time. I hope I've made myself clear. No matter how you struggle, you have no choice but to follow the order given to you by the Empire. No matter how noble your motives, defiance against us will result in the death of your nation. This you must never forget. Ah, and one more thing. If you're considering seeking aid from outside Dan, think again. We have spies and informants in every corner of Talius. We will know immediately if you tell someone. Uh, <laughs> Let me get this straight. Everyone day and will die if you disobey the Senate. What a heavy burden. It cannot be. 
Show mother the mark of your pact. It's true. This is the mark of a blood pact. My son has been deceived. Oh, give it up. You expect us to buy that ghost story? It's just something to scare little kings into eating their vegetables. It glares at Peleus. <laughs> yeah, no, so is just fucking not having it. <laughs> Before you go shining Benyon's boots, get some proof of the Senate's claims. Mm. we have done enough here, Micaiah. Let's go. Let We'll let them find out if that story is real or not. It's all true, Soap. What? King Peleus and Queen Almeida are telling us the truth. It's hard to believe, but I can see it. My power hasn't gone away. It was just weakened from exhaustion. This is all so horrible. Now Dane can never be free from the sentence leash. I thought it said trash. She said sentence <laughs> trash. <laughs> well, uh, same thing, right? Yeah, essentially. Even if it's true, Micaiah, that doesn't mean you have to go to war again. We could leave Dan. But without me, who would hold their forces together? Leaving the army would be the same as abandoning the people of Dan. I won't do it. But... <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know. King Peleus, what then do you propose we do? Why, obey the Empire, of course. We have no other choice in the matter. As long as I follow the Senate's orders, no one will die because of me. No, I can't accept that. We finally- we have finally wrested our country back from the occupation forces. I'd rather be dead than have to bend to the will of the Empire. What are we, dogs? And now that Benyon is ordering day and troops into battle, we are treated as disposable pawns. Hooray! Many day and citizens will die in this pack. Whether we obey it or not. It would appear that I have been crowned king during the last days of Dan. Follow or fight, the result is the same. We will be destroyed. With all due respect, Your Majesty, we can't give up. What? You heard me. The only way to really be doomed is to give up. Micaiah, there's no way out of a blood pack. None. What do you suggest we do? Look for a way out. I know Duke Lucane says that a pact can't be broken, but of course he'd say that. King Peleus, you have the resources of an entire country to draw on, and the best of reasons to do so. Check the Royal Library. Check the archives. Somewhere I'm sure you'll find something. Just don't give up. Micaiah, forgive me. No. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed that I let myself give into despair. But you're absolutely right. We can't give up just yet. We have people to save. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. Thanks, Debbie Downer. Yeah. <laughs> Benya will not put off triggering the blood pack until after we've found a way to break it. We can make time. If we take on the Empress and the Lagu's forces, it'll look like as if we're obeying the Senate. In the meantime, you can research the pact. All right, I'll start immediately. Just give me as much time as you can. Of course. We'll do our best to hold them back. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Step one, blow up the bridge. Oh, wait, they're days past that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but any, yeah, blow up the bridge. They're already they're fucking, gone. They're, yeah. Um, they're like three days past that. <laughs> oh, I'm really off. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Fire Emblem. Yay! Shit's going to hell. Oh, yeah. In a handbasket. Fancy. With a pretty little bow. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.